Hey everyone, so before we begin with our video, we would like to make a small request. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like the video if it helps you and also share it with your friends who may benefit from the same. So hey guys, in this video we'll be showing how to provide a closed loop control for a boost converter. So we have a boost converter that's already there to know how to simulate a boost converter. Kindly check out our other video on the boost converter and designing a boost converter. So first we'll need a constant block for this and um, We'll also need a go to block, which basically gives us the reference of the voltage. That's the output voltage measurement. And um, so we'll need a gain block as well. And we'll do one by 240. So, say for instance, we want to measure the output, we, all, we want the output voltage to always be 240. So, we'll do one by 240 and keep it in per unit. So, one is one per unit. So, if it's at, what, if it's at 240, it'll be one per unit. and if it are, and whatever the value of the voltage is, it will divide by 240 and that will be the current vol voltage value in per unit with base as 240. Okay, and now we'll need a sum block and um, we'll have to make it plus and minus. So we'll be ge getting the error, which is uh, one per unit minus the current voltage in per unit. And we'll need a discrete PID controller. So a PID controller is what will tune our circuit and um, it will provide this closed loop um, function and it will it's the thing that regulates the voltage and gives the duty cycle and we'll also need a compare block so the output of the PID controller will be can also be fed to a DP block in on MATLAB but uh, we wouldn't be doing that what we would be doing is we would be creating our own pulses so we will we'll need a repeating sequence and we will compare this repeating sequence with the PID controller and it gives ones and zeros which is basically highs and low something that a pulse with modulator will also would also do. So now let's go to the PID discrete PID controller and click on it we will make it uh, discrete so if it's in continuous you'll have to make it discrete and uh, give the propor proportionality and integral constants and make sure that you limit the output to between 0 0.99 and 0 0.1 because a boost converter d v output by v input is equal to d divided by 1 minus d right so um sorry the other way around yeah so either way you'll have to you'll have to ensure that d is never one so yeah so limit the outputs and um now now we can provide the output of the comparator block to the MOSFET before that we will make the time of this 0 0.00004 so if you do one by this one by this value you will get the frequency switching frequency of the PWM and make the values as 0 and 1 yeah now we can provide this output to the MOSFET Let's take another display block to see the duty cycle variation. So as you can see that the output is not exactly 240 so we'll change the value of the constants to 0 0.1 and now let's simulate so this is how you either use the formula to tune it or you can tune it manually or you can do a mathematical model and tune the proportionality constants to see the output so now you can see it's in and around the value of 240 and even if we change the voltage input voltage the duty cycle also changes and the voltage also changes the output voltage also changes automatically so this is how you essentially give a closed loop control to a um, boost converter so 
this is the output graph so as you can see there are spikes so those spikes basically mean that the PID controller you know the D value duty cycle value will be a particular number and then it will immediately it will not change as soon as the input voltage changes but the PID controller eventually brings it back to the voltage so thank you for watching our video hopefully it was useful kindly do check out our other videos and if you like the video like our like the video and um, subscribe to our channel if you want more such content thank you